Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Good morning, and praise the Lord. Today we have three Old Testament readings. Isaiah chapter 5, verses 16 through 25. Genesis chapter 4, verses 16 through 26. Proverbs chapter 5, verses 15 through chapter 6, verse 3. We will read these together and then we will close with the Lord's Prayer. We begin with Isaiah chapter 5, verses 16 through 25. But the Lord of hosts is exalted in justice, and the Holy God shows himself holy in righteousness. Then shall the lambs graze as in their pasture, fatlings and kids shall feed among the ruins. Woe to those who draw iniquity with cords of falsehood, who draw sin as with cart ropes, who say, Let him make haste, let him speed his work that we may see it. Let the purpose of the Holy One of Israel draw near, and let it come that we may know it. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and shrewd in their own sight. Woe to those who are heroes at drinking wine and valiant men in mixing strong drink, who acquit the guilty for a bribe and deprive the innocent of his right. Therefore, as the tongue of fire devours the stubble, and as dry grass sinks down in the flame, so their root will be as rottenness, and their blossom go up like dust. For they have rejected the law of the Lord of hosts, and have despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against his people, and he stretched out his hand against them, and smote them, and the mountains quaked, and their corpses were as refuse in the midst of the streets. For all this his anger is not turned away, and his hand is stretched out still. We continue with Genesis chapter 4, verses 16 through 26. Then Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. To Enoch was born Erod, and Erod was the father of Mehujael, and Mehujael the father of Methushael, and Methushael the father of Lamech. And Lamech took two wives. The name of the one was Adah, and the name of the other Zillah. Adah bore Jabal. He was the father of those who dwell in tents and have cattle. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all those who play the lyre and pipe. Zillah bore Tubalkayan. He was the forger of all instruments of bronze and iron. The sister of Tubalkayan was Naamah. Lamech said to his wives, Adah and Zillah, hear my voice. You wives of Lamech, hearken to what I say. I have slain a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain is avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy-sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth. For she said, God has appointed for me another child instead of Abel, for Cain slew him. To Seth also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. At that time men began to call upon the name of the Lord. And we conclude with Proverbs chapter 5, verses 15 through chapter 6, verse 3. Drink water from your own cistern, flowing water from your own well. Should your springs be scattered abroad, streams of water in the streets? 
Let them be for yourself alone and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth, a lovely hind, a graceful doe. Let her affliction fill you at all times with delight. Be infatuated always with her love. Why should you be infatuated, my son, with a loose woman and embrace the bosom of an adventuress? For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he watches all his paths. The iniquities of the wicked ensnare him, and he is caught in the toils of his sin. He dies for lack of discipline, and because of his great folly he is lost. My son, if you have become surety for your neighbor, have given your pledge for a stranger, if you are snared in the utterance of your lips, caught in the words of your mouth, then do this, my son, and save yourself. For you have come into your neighbor's power. Go, hasten, and importune your neighbor. Thank you for joining me today on Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. My name is James Newcomb, and I am the founder of Overtly Orthodox Media. The main podcast called Overtly Orthodox publishes materials weekly. And this one, of course, GMPTL, Good Morning, Praise the Lord, is, of course, daily. You can find everything about this project at overtlyorthodox.com. And we will conclude with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.